welcome to the physics new era channel today we are going to take the numerical problems 8 and onwards so let us take problem number 8 i am going to read that at what distance from the mean position at what distance from the mean position is the speed of the particle performing simple harmonic motion half its maximum speed given the path length of simple harmonic motion is a 10 cm seems to be knowing it is better to know the path length. If the particle performing simple harmonic motion, this is known as a mean position, whereas this is known as a extreme position, and this is also a extreme position. So these are the extreme positions. Now what about the path length? Means this is the total path covered by the particle during the simple harmonic motion. That's why this path is known as a path length. So seems to be knowing this path length is, uh, we say, A. Why? I know very well that this is nothing but your amplitude, the maximum distance from the mean position, whereas this distance is also A, means amplitude, means the total path length, total path length, total path length to A is equal to 10 centimeter it is given. And it is also given some sort of a distance from the mean position where velocity is equal to uh, half the maximum velocity half the maximum velocity so we know very well that v maximum is having the formula which is equal to a omega and here it is mentioned if this is a question mark distance okay so we need to get that distance how much is the distance from the mean position so as to get the maximum our velocity is equal to v maximum divided by 2 half of the maximum velocity we need to get where we need to calculate the x at this distance so as to calculate that we know the basic formula that is v is equal to under root of or omega into under root of we say omega into under root of a square minus x square so this is the value that we need to substitute this value that is v maximum divided by 2 is equal to omega into under root of a square minus x square so this value we know very well it is a omega so a omega divided by 2 is equal to omega into under root of a square minus x square this omega cancels with this one as left hand side and right hand side are equal they get cancelled after squaring we are going to get a square upon 4 is equal to a square minus x square as I am going to continue here it is here x it is taken to the left hand side and this a square upon 4 to the right hand side so x square is equal to a square minus a square upon 4 that I'm going to write 4 a square by taking the cross multiplication 4 into a square 4 a square minus a square upon 4 so this is x square so x square is equal to 3 a square upon 4 as we know a a is how much as we know that 2a is equal to 10 so a is equal to 5 centimeter so seems to be substituting that value that is uh, 3 into square of that 5 that is 5 square divided by 4 if we are taking the square root on the both the sides this is under root of 3 and this is taken outside the under root and 4 value we know that it is 2 after substituting that value this is half of that one is 2.5 that means under root of 3 into 2.5 but we know very well that under root of under root of 3 value under root of 3 value is 1.732 if we saw if we multiply it by 2.5 we are about to get the answer that is x is equal to 4.33 centimeter See the answer. The answer is 4.33 
centimeter. Here we have the problem number nine before you. I am going to read that. In YSI units, the differential equation of simple harmonic motion is d to x upon d t square is equal to minus thirty six x. Find its frequency and period. So how to calculate? How to get this? Very simple. The differential form it is given. As we know, the differential equation format that is uh, d to x given d to x. Upon dt square is equal to here minus 36x. If we compare the equations which we are already going to get that equation that is d2x upon dt square plus omega square into x is equal to zero. This is the differential equation of SHM. This is the differential equation of S. HM that is simple harmonic motion. So seems to be knowing d to x upon d t square is equal to minus omega square into x. So if we compare this equation with this equation, here omega square is equal to 36, whereas omega is equal to 6 radian per second. as we know if this is the omega we need to get the time period so we have the time period formula in terms of omega that is t is equal to 2 pi upon omega angular velocity so substituting all the terms as we know pi value pi is equal to 3.14 so substituting that value already we got that 6 That is omega is equal to six radian per second. So two into two into three point one four upon six. After solving that, t is equal to six point two eight divided by six. After uh, we say taking the ratio of this term, we are about to get the answer that is one point zero four six second. And In the book, it is given that is we say 1.05, 1.05, and now the frequency. As we know, the frequency is a reciprocal of time period. So 1 by t, taking the reciprocal of 1.046, we are about to get the answer that is 0.956. That is. Hertz. This is the frequency. Here is the problem number ten before you. A needle of a sewing machine moves along the path of amplitude four centimeter with a frequency five hertz. Find the acceleration. Find its acceleration one by thirty second after it crosses the mean position. so it is very important what exactly the factor which is given that we are going to write here a is equal to 4 cm what about the frequency frequency it is given that is n is equal to 5 hertz and the last factor which is given that is uh, time t small t is equal to 1 by 30 second 1 by 30 second so initially what exactly is the displacement equation that is very important when the body performing simple harmonic motion in simple harmonic motion the displacement equation it is given by x is equal to a sin of omega t when it is having its path starting from the mean position as it crosses the mean position it is not alpha means initial phase it is zero so omega t plus zero means only omega t so if it starts from the mean position here it crosses the mean position that means here it is starting from the mean position its equation it is given by now we are need to differentiate this equation now keenly observe the differentiation differentiating if we differentiate this equation then this becomes we say dx 
upon dt. dx upon dt means it is a velocity, velocity which is given by a as it is because a is the amplitude which is constant, which is a 4 centimeter from mean position. So a into differentiation of the sine of omega t. But always the angular velocity changes. So this is also taken into multiplication as per the rule. That is a into omega into sine that is cos. Differentiation of sine a is a cos. So cos of omega t. This is the differential equation which is given at this position. Now again differentiating. If we differentiate this equation. Then with respect to t. That time we are going to differentiate this dv upon a dt is equal to a as it is into omega into this cos if we differentiate once again omega taken to the we say in multiplication and what about the cos cos of omega t if it is differentiated it is minus sine of omega t so this is the equation and this is nothing but your acceleration because rate of change of velocity is nothing but your acceleration so what exactly is the factor that we would like to calculate that is acceleration find the acceleration so this is the acceleration this is not the amplitude so i am going to write here acceleration is equal to minus a into 2 pi n whole square. Why? Because we know that omega is equal to 2 pi n. So 2 pi n whole square into sine of in bracket 2 pi n into t as omega is a 2 pi n. Substituting that value here, we know that amplitude is a 4. So as per the magnitude it is concerned, we are not going to take the minus, we are going to take the plus. So not going to consider the negative sign. So 4 into 2 into, here it is 3.14 into, into, here n. n is the frequency which is given 5. Here, whole square. Into sine of 2 pi, frequency is a 5. And here it is 1 by 30. If we calculate whole, I am going to get this. Here it is. 2 into 5, 10. So 4 into 4 into 3.14. Because squaring of this 2 is a, a we say 4. And 3.14 into 3.14 square of 3.14. And it is 25 into sine of 10 pi by 30 that means here it is 4 into 4 16 into uh, 3.14 into 3.14 into 25 into sine of pi by 3 after cancelling the terms it is pi by 3 so this is about the acceleration we will continue here acceleration value so we have the acceleration, acceleration is equal to 16 into 3.14 into 3.14 into uh, 25 into sine of, sine of, how much here it is 60, pi by 3 means 60, how pi by 3 means 60, pi seems to be considered 180 radian divided by 3. That means it is a 60. So, seems to be knowing all that sine of 60 value. If we substitute and calculate, then we will get the answer that is here 0. Point, sine of 60, 0. 0.8660. If we solve this, we are about to get the answer from the book. It is given 34.2, but not we are going to get this answer accurately. We are about to get this answer that is 
and the unit of acceleration is meter per second square this is the actual expected answer here we have the problem number 11 before you potential energy of particle performing linear simple harmonic motion is a 0.1 pi square x square joule if the mass of the particle is a 20 gram find the frequency of simple harmonic motion so let us get the answer for this here the potential energy it is given how much is the potential energy that is very important potential energy is it is given 0.1 pi square x square joule what about the next mass it is given m is equal to 20 m is equal to 20 gram so what is the expected frequency it is expected the frequency is question mark as we know the potential energy formula potential energy it is equal to half of m omega square x square in simple harmonic motion so knowing all that we know the potential energy which is given 0.1 pi square x square which is equal to half of the mass here it is in gram so we need to expect or we need to convert that into kilogram so here 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 here kilogram and here how much is that value if we are we need to shift this it comes out to be 0.020 because here 1 2 and here it 3 that means 0.020 kg 0.020 into omega i am going to write as 2 pi n whole square into x square if we are going to Uh, get the answer for this one. This x square, x square get cancelled. Both are same on the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So 0.1 pi square. One more factor which is get cancelled. That is 0.020 into here it is 4 into pi square into n square. So this pi square is also get cancelled. If we solve this. we are expecting the answer if this two it is get multiplied with this it is 0.2 whole divided by 0.020 whole divided by 4 which is equal to n square if we solve this i am going to get the answer for this here the answer it is after solving this the answer for this one is n square is equal to or n is equal to directly i am going to write the answer because calculation is quite simple if we going to divide this one and expected answer it is 1.581 hertz if we solve this thank you